This is a special edition. I am putting together a trade show display. So we have a 18 foot from that back corner over there, 18 foot this way, 18 feet that way, six feet in, 17 feet across, six feet back in. So it's gonna kind of fit into a corner. That is an eight foot tall stacked urn, five feet from one side to five feet to the other side. And we've been sitting on them for about two months and I thought for sure that would make a huge impression at the show. And then because the show has got this kind of avatar theme, they do this cool stuff with black lights and glow in the dark paint. We're gonna play around with actually painting some of our moss. Right, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. It is, oh, who even cares, right? It doesn't really matter because the video gets posted whenever it gets posted. But this is a special edition of a Team Aquascape post because we're doing something a little unusual. If you look behind me, there's a bunch of miscellaneous urns and stuff sitting over there. I am putting together, on the request of Greg Whitstock, AKA the Pond Guy, a trade show display for our good buddy George Aquashella Coral G. George puts on this incredible show of a group of aquarium enthusiasts and really saltwater aquarium enthusiasts. But of course there's some freshwater and some other stuff there and it's an insane show. Lots of incredible displays, lots of cool new fill there's up and coming filter trends, that kind of stuff. Lots of live corals, all kinds of cool stuff. And since we partnered up with George, I don't know, a few years ago, built him a pond in his basement, he's asked us to build another display over there. And so this is what I've come up with. And it's a little different than normal, but I think it'll be cool. So we have a 18 foot from that back corner over there, 18 foot this way, 18 feet that way, six feet in, 17 feet across, six feet back in. So it's gonna kind of fit into a corner and as everybody comes in, they're gonna kind of walk down this aisle that goes like right like this way. So everybody will be walking this way. The first thing they're gonna come in and see are the set of three bowls. Now the main reason I wanna use patio bowls in our display is because it's basically an aquarium, right? It's an aquarium that can fit on your patio, super low maintenance, add aquatic plants, add lilies, put a turtle in there, put some small fish. It's an area where you can have a pond, we call them patio ponds because it's a patio pond. <laughs> it's a pond on your patio, right? It's a mini pond. We have them in three different sizes, three different colors, and two different shapes. We also have square ones too. And so we're gonna put these in, gonna get these loaded up with aquatic plants, some fish and stuff in there, waterfalls coming out of each one into another one. Of course, I had to bring in our big urn. There is a select amount of these things left, and I think they're almost all spoken for, but that is an eight foot tall stacked urn, five feet from one side to five feet to the other side. And we've been sitting on them for about two months, and I thought for sure that would make a huge impression at the show. I took another patio bowl, set it up high. We're gonna get a little fall coming out of it this way, another one this way, and another one going that way. I think I also put one of these fall foggers up in there and see if we can't get a bunch of fog and stuff kind of rolling down in there. And then I'm gonna put another patio bowl right in here kind of built into the wall that people can come by and get right up close to. It's gonna sit right in this area, right up close to and see the fish and everything else. And then of course, we're starting to incorporate some driftwood and some big stumps. We're gonna have some evergreens and stuff in the back, a bunch of different ferns and plants. And then because the show has got this kind of avatar theme, they do this cool stuff with black lights and glow in the dark paint. We're gonna play around with actually painting some of our moss. You can see I've been playing around with it over here already. So I took some moss, put some of that glow in the dark paint on it, different colors, and we're gonna adhere that moss all over some of our stuff. And so instead of painting these bowls like we were originally gonna do, I'm gonna glue on big areas of moss and hopefully that black light really picks it up. The other thing I really need to do is get those trees and plants. So the whole idea is pre-build almost the entire thing here. So would Ed, Trevor, and I go to start putting this thing together, it's kind of just plug and play. Everything's ready to go. We're taking the guesswork out of things. We're not guessing on where to run plumbing. We're not trying to look for small little fittings. Everything's there when we need it. It's super easy, super light, and we can focus more on the aesthetics and playing with plants. That's what's 
in my mind anyways, we'll see if that actually comes true. I think the next step for me to do is jump in the truck and go get some trees. Because of this avatar theme, I'm thinking of doing some, we'll see what they have over there at the garden center, but I like the idea of some bald cypresses in the back with a bunch of ferns. Maybe we'll find some tropical, like palmy looking things somewhere, but that's the theme. So hopefully the garden center that we work with, Wasco Nursery, has some big cypress trees that we can just drop right in the water. Agreed? Yes, you do. Yes. I don't know what time it is. Oh, it's a little late. <laughs> 9.30-ish. Well, I was hoping to get done a little faster than that, but stayed late tonight to get the timber wall up. The main reason I'm doing that is because on Thursday, when we build this thing over there at the Schaumburg Convention Center, we've only got one day. So if I could have all of this put together and all numbered, you can see 11 goes to 11, 10 to 10, We've got, come upside down, because that's the way I wrote it. This is the front of it, the bottom, the top. So everything's numbered, so it should be super easy. Obviously, I didn't screw it all together. I'm gonna come in and just put some boards on the back. I'm not even gonna screw these things down. I think I'm just gonna anchor them like from the side all over the place. It's only 11 inches, really 10 inches of water, just enough to get over the top of our small aqua blocks, which are nine and a half. So I just gotta be able to hide those. That gives me enough water to put lay a pump down and feed everything. Now, I'm gonna come up and work on this urn. So I wanna run a three inch pipe. We have about a 10, almost a 10 foot diameter all the way around that thing. I don't want any water coming off the back because you won't see it. There's gonna be a wall back here. So I don't know if it's pipe and drape or a solid wall or what, but something over there and there's a wall over here. So I want all of that water just to come off the front. So I only have to calculate for five feet of water. And if we go back to our formula, which says, you know, minimum of 1,000 gallons of water per foot, I need at least a 5,000 gallon per hour pump, which means I need to run a three inch line up there. So I'm gonna take a five to nine, which will push up to 9,000 gallons. We'll run part of it up to that, manifold off, part of it to this, and part of it to this. And hopefully that gives me enough water. But the next step is to climb up to the top of this thing and actually drill a hole right in the center. So I've got my three inch hole saw climbing up here. Oh my God. And it gives you a different perspective of how tall this thing actually is. And there's my pilot hole for my hole saw. So this will go into there. Now, if an accident happens, you guys will all be able to see it. But I'm gonna trust that this thing can hold me, I think. Oh my God, this is kind of scary. I hear it cracking. I don't know if that's a good, a good thing or not. It's flexing a little. I think I'll just put, I think I'll just put one foot. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, now I can measure the pipe to go down there, and it's one more thing that I don't have to do on Thursday when we set it up. So I've got a three inch pipe left over from another home show. We'll drop that thing down there and see if it works. And then I found a three inch ball valve from a different home show. We'll see if that works too. Cool, so I finished up pretty late last night, but I'm so glad I did it. Everything's done. You can see here's kind of the configuration. Not sure how much I like the urn upside down, but I just don't know how else to get a bowl that high. And I really need that bowl that high. If I had a little bit more time, I'd figure out how to do like a pargola over the structure with chains holding it or something, but I just don't. So that'll have to do hopefully the bale of water that comes out of there and the ferns and stuff planted in amongst it really help hide it and soften it up. So the next step is get all of this into those trucks. And you can see yesterday, I told you I was gonna stop by Wasco Nursery and get some plants. Those are already loaded up in here and we've got some really cool stuff. Not that you can really see that well from here, but you know, you can't see it all. But believe me, that's a, one of three really cool cypress trees. I've got some Dawn Redwoods, some type Tigerite sumacs, a bunch of ferns, and hopefully with the help from Matt over there at Wasco Nursery, this will have that avatar look that they're going for. We also got a bunch of aquatics and some other things we'll put in there, and with a little bit of smoke and mirrors, should all look really good, right? <laughs> all right, guys, we'll get this loaded up. Next time I see you, we'll be unloading the truck and setting up over at the Schaumburg Convention Center. One cool display.
and boom, just like that, the booth is gone. Pretty, <laughs> pretty amazing that all that was sitting right there. Somehow or another, we managed to take everything that was right here. Remember the wall kind of came like this, big urn back there, all of that got shoved into that truck. Plus, some plants, some extra driftwood, some carts, and everything else. So tomorrow, we'll come unload all that. There's that big urn right back there, all dissected down. It comes apart in four pieces. I'm guessing two foot increments, since it's an eight foot urn. That's my quick math. Yeah, I think we're all good. That looks a little precarious, but it'll add to a better story. <laughs> all right, next stop, Schaumburg Convention Center. I feel like I've said that a couple of times.